Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. What's going on, y'all? Hey, so I've been just thinking, like, just about this whole Cowboys roster and everything that's going on right now. And one thing that 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 baffles me right now is this whole Rico Gathers thing. What is the deal with Rico Gathers? Like, I hear so many different things. I heard that like he liked the posts on Instagram that was saying fire Jason Garrett. Now, one thing that you can't do, if that is true, one thing that you can't do as a player, go against anything about your bosses. That's like you working a regular job and you see stuff about your boss and you're just publicly shamming your own boss. Like your boss not going to see that. It's social media. Social pe media gets people hemmed up. I'm telling you. You got to be careful on social media. You got to be careful what you say. You got to be kidding. Period. Like, even if you feel that way, if it's something negative about, if it's something negative about somebody, don't, just don't say it in public. Like, if that's how you feel, keep it to yourself. Because, you know, you're going to get fired. Um, I heard on a radio here in the DMV, in the local B, um, radio, where this girl had got, um, I guess she got hired as an intern at uh, NASA. And all of a sudden, she said something. Um, she was on her social media and she was talking about something. She was talking, she was replying to something that somebody put on social media. And this one guy responded and was like, hey, watch your mouth. Because I guess she was cursing on it. And she says out her mouth, well, not says it. She typed it back to him and, and replied back and said, hey, suck my you know what and I'm like what first of all this is a young female she's early 20s just got an internship at NASA first of all you better not you get a job at NASA don't mess that up that that you don't mess that up so it just goes to show you, you got to be careful on social media so what happened after that was um the person that she said that to happened to be one of the um, not CEO, but it happened to be like one of the higher ups in NASA, not in the actual branch that she worked out of or that, or that she was interning out of. Mind you, she hadn't even started the internship yet. She just got accepted it. She was supposed to start that next Monday. So that she's on the, over the weekend, just celebrating like, Ooh, yeah, I got hired at NASA, but you're still an intern. You still got to work your way up. sweetheart. like, you gotta like, you, you gotta curb your enthusiasm on stuff like that. You just can't go around and just saying stuff like that because you don't know who you're talking to so like i said it ended up being a dude that was at one of the higher ups in the company and he didn't tell on her he wasn't the reason why she ultimately got fired before she even started the job what happened was people kept re people kept like sharing it and retweeting it and things of that nature so i guess it was on twitter not instagram so yeah so people kept um, tweeting it and 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 sharing it, and so what happened was, her actual supervisor ended up seeing that, and then that's what happened. They ended up um, firing her before she even started the job. So I just think that I hope that's a lesson learned because I'm like you, you have to be careful what you say to people because you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know, like when you be jumping out of pocket and saying stuff to certain people, you don't know. It's how that person controls your life and your destiny. You, you never know. So um, so what happened was, I guess she apologized to that individual. And he forgave her. But it worked out for her in the long run because I guess he, even though she cursed him out or said something derogatory to him, he still helped her get a better job within NASA. Now, normally when you make mistakes like that, Normally you're cut and you just you don't get a second chance. But she got lucky and she got another opportunity. But I guarantee you she won't ever do nothing like that again. And the reason why I went off on that is to say that with Rico gathers, like you cannot say you have to watch what you say on social media. You just have to watch what you say. That's why I like even me, like you know, having a YouTube channel, you never know what job that I might get. You never know you know, who's watching. You never know. That's why you always have to be on your P's and Q's. I don't have to worry about it because I'm a stand up guy. So I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't have nothing to hide. So it is what it is. I don't, I don't have any, um, <laughs> skeletons I'm hiding right now. So it is what it is. But I will say that, um, I really do like Rico gathers. I hope that he makes this team. Um, 
I just hope that that little issue is not the reason why the Cowboys are shut. Because it seems like the Cowboys are not really feeling him like that. But they have been playing him more. I also heard that the reason why they were playing him is because they were trying to use him as trade bait. But I'm like, how are you going to use a project guy that played basketball in college and doesn't have a football background like that um, as trade bait? What team is going to want him? The Cowboys are the only ones that know what he can do, really. And it's funny because they're like, oh, well, he doesn't exactly know what he's doing when it comes to the plays. Okay, I understand that Rico Gather's been here for a year. What is it, two years, his second year? Yeah, so I understand he's been here for two years now. But it takes time to learn an NFL, just a football playbook in general. Them X's and O's is not easy. If you're somebody, especially if you're somebody that, that, that doesn't learn that fast or you have any type of learning disability, like that's hard. You look at somebody like Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles grew, grew up with a reading and learning disability. He was slower than other kids. But he was able to grow up and learn and catch up and be of a great football player. So to say that, I hate when teams be like, oh, well, he's, he, his football IQ sucks. Isn't it your job as a coaching staff to help these players and build them up and make them better, make them learn? That is your job. So when I look at that, I'm just like, why don't you just, if you're going to keep him, why don't you just make it better, make him feel better about it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, make it, make him learn it. Now, if you if you keep trying and you see that there's no progress, then okay, you got an argument. Then you can release a player because obviously they're not, they're, they're not capable of doing what you're asking them to do. I don't think that Rico is, I don't think that he's not capable of doing it because if he wasn't, he wouldn't have been there this long. And you've seen what he's done in the game. There's ways that they could use him. When was the last time the Cowboys had a, a tight end, or not even a tight end, but a receiver in general that can play like that? I don't think even Dez, even when Dez high point the ball, it ain't like how Rico can. Rico is 6'8", and his wingspan, I don't even know how long his arms is, but, I mean, that play in, in the last preseason game where he reached over the defender to catch the ball, and it's funny because... You didn't see many highlights on it, and nobody was really talking about it. It's almost like they're just like, oh, it's Rico, whatever. And I'm like, you're not impressed by that? You're not impressed by somebody that just started playing in the NFL and, and didn't play in college? Played a whole different sport in college? I just look at that like, come on, man. Like, I, I, I don't know what the deal is with the coach staff and Rico. Like, I, I try to wrap my mind around it. I just can't. I be sitting here trying to pay attention and, and see exactly what they're doing. And 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 um, I, tr I in my mind I try to look at it from a different angles. I still I still don't get it. I don't understand it. Like I tried to wrap my mind around it. It just it doesn't it doesn't make any sense at all. I look at it like this. Yeah, he may not be the greatest blocker, but outside of Jeff Swain, there's no other tight end on this roster right now that's a great blocker. So what you gonna do? Schultz still has a lot of work to do. Now, you look at this whole tight end core that we have right now, and one would think out their mouth, the first thing they'll think is, we have a very weak um, tight end um, core right now. I look at it like this. You got to pick the best three at this point. When it comes to that blocking stuff, I feel like they can learn that as the games progress because nothing nothing makes you learn how to do something than actually doing it me personally I've always been a visual learner so for me to like do things tediously and just keep doing it over and over repetitively then that that's better for me because then I end up getting better at it I'm a type of person you show me how to do something once or twice I got it like I'll figure it out even if I'm like alright well this goes here this goes here I'll figure it out yeah, that's, just, that's just the type of individual I am it, it don't take much for me to figure stuff out. But like I said, everybody's learning levels is different. But what I will say is that I believe that Rico does have the ability to do it. They just got to give him the chance to do it. Stop saying that his football IQ, IQ isn't good. Well, you he was a project. He was a project for you, basically. That I mean, you that's like taking somebody. That's like telling somebody that's a lawyer and making them a doctor or vice versa. They have to have the schooling. They have to learn. It's all about the learning process. So if you're not learning, you're not getting better. 
it is what it is. You pr- you practice by doing. <laughs> but 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 again, who's gonna make this team a tight end? You got. I mean, we know that Jeff Swain is gonna be the the main starter because what they're doing right now, they're actually doing two tight end sets with Swain and Rico Gathers now. If you keep putting Rico out there, he will get better. Let him do let him do what he does. Let him play. And don't cut him. Because we need a guy like that to catch the ball. Catch them crazy passes that no other body nobody else on the team can do. Let let him do it. Just let him do it. And I promise you, he will get better. Forget that whole blocking thing. He'll get it. Again, he don't have to be the greatest blocker in the world. You just need to get in the way. You need to stop the guy for a second and a half or however long Dak needs to get that ball off to the receiver or the running back. Again, speaking of running backs, you look at what we have at running back and you look at what we have at fullback. Every one of our runners, whether it's a running back or 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 a, um, or a, um, a fullback, especially Jermaine Zolawale, all of them can catch the ball out the backfield. All of them can run the ball good. And all of them can block well. Now, Bo Scarborough, he's probably the weakest link out of all of them. But he still ain't bad himself. So when you look at what we have with that position, just let the running backs and the fullbacks block for you. And let the tight ends catch the damn ball for right now and figure that out later. I look at it like this. It's, they make it seem like it's a dire they make it seem like it's a dire emergency or a dire need to have the greatest tight end ever. We are so spoiled right now because of the fact that we had Jason Witten for 15 years. Jason Witten gone, y'all. He retired, future Hall of Hall of Famer, and I'm gonna be happy to see him cross that stage with his with his gold jacket on. But again, the task at hand. You don't have Jason Witten. You have to do with what you got. We got people that can block. We have people that can pick up that slack. What we need right now is more people to catch that ball effectively. So why not have more threats and let Rico catch the damn ball? Let him catch the ball. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I just wanted to rant about that because that's that's been on my mind like all day today, and I'm just like, like what? I'm I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to grasp. I'm trying to put my mind around this and figure out. What, what the hell this is about So um, Like I said Let me know what y'all think In the comments Oh it's your boy E2 Blue Hey Free Joe Blue Free Joe Blue It's your boy E2 Blue Always keeping it real I'll talk to y'all soon Have a great day